Good day everybody, welcome to another OBD scanner video and this one we got another scanner from launch. I believe the last one was a CR3001 and this one is a 5001 series model. I honestly don't know if there's going to be any differences as far as features besides that uh, this one's a little bit bigger and has some extra buttons but I think in the end it's just going to do the exact same thing like this doesn't do ABS, it doesn't bleed any lock brakes, it doesn't do a force DPF. Let's get it out of the package and have a look. Inside the package you got your manuals and it says that uh, you should update it but we're gonna bypass that. Kinda curious about this help button provides online tips for diagnostics. In order to provide online tips it'd have to connect to the internet. I'm not sure how that's gonna go unless it has built-in Wi-Fi but didn't see nothing in the instructions so we're gonna have to have a look. All right, let's see if I can position this in a way that will be useful. Let's go to diagnose. So this one is set up different than the, uh, oh, I guess it's not touch screen. We gotta go through the whole shinding here. I know I got a engine code. It's gonna tell me my catalytic converter error because I don't have them in my truck anymore and every now and then I get that. Bitch, that's what it's going to say, yeah. Catalyst system inefficient below threshold bank. That's exactly what it is. Let's erase that code. Truck's running. Sometimes you can erase it while it's running. And it looks like it has. So... This is your instant ready monitor. Let's go to the data stream, view all items. Fuel system closed loop, calculate load 24.3%, coolant temperature 56 degrees. Short term fuel trims are good right at close to zero. Engine RPM, 700, almost 800. Intake air temperature. So it's got basically all your typical data you're gonna see um, to help you troubleshoot most things really. Let's see if we get into some graphs. Let's go uh, graph or short term fuel trim. So that's kind of a funky little graph. So what's this F4 button? What's this help button? get rid of the beeper for one there we go yes yeah, so this one here is basically the same as the other one I did just it's a little bit bigger that's all that's pretty much the end for that launch scanner it's actually the second one I've done a review on now launch did send me a bi-directional scanner a little while ago this one right here I think it's like um, Easy Dag 3 or something by Launch Technology and uh, they didn't have the app going for the iPhone yet when they sent it to me and they said it was going to be ready. Then I get this email saying the software had been hacked and they're no longer going to sell it and I can, can't use this so this would have been a deal breaker right here, right here. Very affordable bi-directional but unfortunately. It's not the way it's going to go. But I'm going to end this video here on that basic uh, Launch 5001 OBD scanner. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.